Welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I've been meaning to upload this video for a long time now. It's just my busy schedule has not given me the chance to sit down and fully edit it. But I'm finally bringing this video for you guys. So if you can tell by the title, it's going to be about styling pants and skirts, but specifically for petite bodies. If you're anything like me, you'll probably know the struggle of finding the perfect pair of pants or skirts that flatter your body, but also don't go past your ankles um, and also gravitates towards your style. Those three things kind of just... It makes it so hard for short people to find the perfect pair of bottoms, so that's why I brought this video for you today. But that being said, let's get into styling. Alright, so let's start with body measurements just to give you a sense of how these bottoms look on me in case you want to try them for yourself. So my height is 4'11", and whenever I look for pants, I always look for anything with the 28 inch length or 26, depending on where I get it from. And for waist, I always go for a 25, 26, or 27 inch um, waist, again, depending on where I buy my pants from. So now onto the good stuff, which is the style and fit that you want to look for. So the first style that I'm going to be talking about is the flared design. And this pair is from Uniqlo and I've actually featured it in my previous videos. But I feel like flared jeans um, are really great for petite bodies because they have this outward hem that kind of, you know, flows outward. And it alludes that you have longer legs than you actually do. And it's a little bit more snug than other denim fits. So it kind of, you know defines your body in the best way possible. This one is also from Uniqlo and it's made of a kind of cotton denim instead of a, like a rigid denim, um, like the last pair, but again, they really have that definition to them and are just really easy to style. So now onto my favorite, which is the baggy jean. They're just super flattering and really easy to style and they have this kind of, I don't know, maybe vintage vibe to them. This pair is from Uniqlo and they have a lot more similar to the style, um, but they're most referred to as the U-curve or balloon style pant because they have this outward curve by the thighs that allude, that don't really define the body, which is really great if you're not making that the focus of your look. Um, again, super comfortable and flattering. So the way I like to roll them up is to cuff them in thin layers like so. Um, doing this one thick um, roll up kind of looks intentional because the pants were too long for you so again I like to cuff them up in like two to three thin layers and then judge them out so they have a more relaxed baggy fit I also want to mention that Levi's is really great at making petite jeans um, similar to this style so I would definitely check them out as well the next style is surprise surprise another pair of baggy jeans these ones are from Oakenfort but they do have more of a straight leg that kind of gives that relaxed 90s fit instead of leaving the hem awkwardly like this you can see it just kind of sits at the ankle i like to fold them up once ever so slightly so that it's kind of um i guess has an irregular hem and what you don't want to do is fold up the hem multiple times because of the straight leg it will give off this rectangular shape and that's not what you want it's not the most flattering so rolling it up once will definitely do the job Next up, we have patterned pants, which I feel like debunks the myth that if you're short, you can't wear anything loud or patterned for your pants, but maybe I'm just making that up. This pair is from Petite Studios, which is a store that specializes in petite clothing, so there's no need to do any extra hemming. The hemlines are just perfect, which is really nice. But when you want to go for patterned pants, you definitely want to go for a more subtle, darker color so it doesn't stand out as much and doesn't emphasize your height. This pair is also from Uniqlo. Again, it plays along with that check design um, and that neutral, dark color scheme so if you're ever afraid to try patterned pants or skirts definitely don't be afraid um, keeping these tips in mind will help for sure when you do decide to wear patterned pants that are cuffed at the bottom you want to make sure that the inner design of the pant is the same as the whole design on the exterior so basically what I mean by this with a foot demonstration see how I cuffed the bottom of the pant the when I rolled it up the interior of the pant is the same as the exterior. So it really doesn't have a huge difference on where you folded it and it's really just a cohesive look as opposed to something that is a lighter material or has a, I guess, faded look to it on the inside or I guess a different pattern. Uh, whatever it may be, you wanna make sure that it is cohesive when you cuff it up, like so. <laughs> Also, I'm struggling to really balance here. Another note is that when you do decide to cuff up a, uh, I guess, a rigid material like these trousers I have on, there tends to be a little bit um, lopsidedness when you cuff up the hem. What you want to do beforehand, if you really want that cut crease 
a cuff at the bottom. You just have to roll it and cuff it up before you wear it. Iron it a little bit so that it's really stiff and has a shape to it. And then you are all good. All your cuffing problems are solved. And of course we can't forget about skirts, but to be honest I did have trouble finding options in my wardrobe because I'm still trying to find the best fit that works for me. But this one here is from Uniqlo, of course, um, but it has this straight A-line fit to it which is really nice and flattering. This slit in the back not only adds a little bit of a, you know, unexpected touch, but since the hemline is so close to the ankles and you can barely see my legs, uh, the slit in the back helps the break up the overall look of the skirt and kind of makes it a little more dimensional. Yay, we've reached the end of the video. Um, so those are all the tips that I have for you guys. I just want to put out there again that I'm not a professional stylist by any means. These are just things that I've incorporated into my styling habits over the years as I've come to know what designs and fits work well for me and my style. Um, so obviously it's going to differ from person to person. But I hope you, you know, could take something away from this video. Um, let me know if you have any styling tips as well. Um, would love to hear about them in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're almost to 900 subscribers, which is exciting. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!